Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Gary. And I'm Steve, and today we have a really cool little trick to show you with your run box. Now, I'll admit that this probably isn't the most useful trick we've ever showed you, but you know what, it's really, it really is kind of cool. It's something you should see, so we're gonna go ahead and do a video on it. Basically, this trick is gonna allow you, you can take any item on your computer and drag it to the run box, and the run box is gonna show you the complete path to that item. Right, so let me go ahead and show you now, and uh, I tell you what, I even have a reason we could use this. I'll tell you later. Okay. Okay, so let's start off by opening the run box. Um, the, since this is Windows 7, the only way you can get the run box on this computer is by pressing the Windows key and the letter R. So I'm gonna do that, press Windows and R, and the run box will open. If you're using uh, Windows XP, you can go to Start and click on Run. If you're using Windows Vista, it'll be the same way, press Windows and R, and then this will come up. So this is our regular run box. Now, just to show you how this works, let me just go ahead and just find a file on the computer, anywhere on the computer. Here's this one, ULA.1028 text, whatever it is. Now let's say I wanted to find out what the path to that file was, the exact location. Let's say somebody from tech support wanted to know, hey, what is the file location of that file you're talking about? Well, this is the easy way to do it. I'm gonna take this file, I'm gonna drag it right over here to the run box and drop it and you can see what it did. It created the file path, c colon slash eula dot 1028.txt. But what if it's more complicated? What if it's in program files and Microsoft Games, Solitaire, and then it's this one. Now, let's go ahead and clear this out and drag this through and let go. There you go, there's the whole path. It's easy to do and it allows you to get the path to a file so that way you don't have to try to type it out or find it another way. That's pretty much all there is to it. All right, so there you go. Um, like I say, I don't think it's the most useful tip ever, but you know, Gary claims to have a real good use for it, so we'll turn to Gary. It's um, it's really cool. That's why I that that's why it's really cool. That's the only reason to use it, really. I mean, if you want to show off to your friends, that's the way to do it. See, I thought he had a real reason. So, anyhow, uh, thanks for watching the video today. Make sure you stop by WorldStart.com/ask and uh, let us know all your burning questions well, about computers, anyway. Make sure you sign up for our email newsletter and uh, check us out on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, sign up for our YouTube channel and then go over to WorldStart.com and uh, check out the site. That's all I have. Thanks.